This tutorial is sponsored by Patreon. Thank you all for your support. Hello everyone, welcome to the new tutorial. In this tutorial, we're gonna set up the currency. So, for example, I'm gonna set up that I have a dollars and I can spend them and uh, I can also gain them. So, how can we do that? It's pretty simple. Let's just go to our third person character and create new variable. That variable is going to be called money. It's going to be of type, we can set it as integer or float, it doesn't matter, it depends what you want. Float is if you want to make it a decimal, and integer if you want to make it a whole number. So for this tutorial, uh, I'm going to set up it as integer. I can compile and save. And uh, I can make UI, I can make it here. And let's just call it money UI. And I'm gonna make it uh, to show how much money we currently have. Let's anchor it to the top so it always stays here even if the window becomes smaller. Let's change it to green because we are gonna have dollars. And here we can bind this text. So create binding. But for, for us to bind the text, we need to have a reference to our player character where the variable is. So we're gonna, from the event construct, that's what happens before the game launches. We're gonna cast to third person character. Object is gonna get be good player character. And as BP third person character, promote variable called character reference. Now when we did that, we can go to our binding for the text, get character reference, and just get money. Perfect. And now let's format text. So why I'm doing format text instead of just pulling it in? Because I want to have dollars as well. So I will put uh, curly brackets, money, and after it dollar. So money is basically gonna be, gonna be this, and the dollar is just gonna stay there. Compile and save. And now it's gonna say how much money we have, but we need to add it to our viewport. So from the begin play, we can create sequence. So we can put more uh, code in it. So uh, create widget. So now we're just basically putting this widget to our viewport. Money UI. And I, I like to promote it to variable every time I work with widget. So we can provide uh, we can promote to variable and call it money UI ref. And uh, why I do that stuff when I work with it is uh, basically uh, later on if we for example want to hide this we can just get our money UI ref and just set visibility, you know, and make it collapsed. But that's for the other things for now. I just want to show you it's a good use to do that every time. So you're more flexible with it. So if we go ahead and start play, as you can see, we're gonna see in the top corner how much money we have. So let's add some functions. Go to the BP third character person, and here we can start creating some functions. So let's create function add money. So if we get our money, we can uh, just type uh, this uh, plus, or we can just add. And the amount of money we want to add is gonna we're gonna pin it to the add money. And set money is gonna be that. This we can uh, rename um, money to add. And now, if you see, if we go ahead and let's bring a key one just for the testing purposes. And if we pull this function here. We can set up how much money we want 
So, for example, if you have some uh, monster that you kill, or some uh, animal or something, if you kill other player, you can, uh, after uh, killing, you can add money, so the player gets money for it. And you can also make this randomized, but that's, I'm gonna leave that for another tutorial. For now, I just want to create basic uh, stuff. And uh, remove money, another function. So just like this one, it's gonna be get money. But in this, uh, in this case, it's gonna be minus or subtract. That's gonna be the amount. And here it's gonna be set money. Just like that. And input is gonna be named. How did you name this one? Money to add. So this one is gonna be money to remove. So now here we can make key two. And we can remove money. And let's also remove 15. So now if we go ahead and test it out, as you can see, we can add money with one, and we can also reduce money with two. So that's it for this tutorial. And then second part, I'm gonna be creating some uh, uh, shopkeeper where you can buy things with this money and that's that's gonna be like uh, buying uh, extra health armor um, for example buying flashlight uh, etc so see you in the next tutorial bye